Hey, I'm John Kramer here with SNL Reviewed Season 40, and man, does SNL creator producer Lauren Michaels have his work cut out for him this year. I mean, first and most sadly, he's going into this season without his legendary announcer, Don Pardo, who passed away the last, uh, over the summer at the age of 96, and I think he's made an incredibly smart move by announcing he's bringing SNL alum Daryl Hammond back to the show to replace Pardo, which, as it turns out isn't the first because Hammond actually impersonated Pardo as announcer a few times over the years when Pardo was ill on the show night. And then of course there's the 900 pound gorilla in the room, the awful season they had last year and that's not just my opinion because you only have to look at the massive casting changes Lauren Michaels has put into effect over the summer dropping Michael O'Brien, John Milheiser, Noel Wells and Brooks Whelan from the cast and read between the lines when he talks about how tough the rebuilding was last year after losing so much top talent like Andy Samberg, Kristen Wiig, Fred Armisen, Jason Sudeikis, and Seth Meyers all so quickly to know that SNL is not on top of its comedic game right now. And I for one do not really get why the decision was made to keep Colin Jost on Weekend Update while removing Cecily Strong from her chair even though she says she's happy to be back doing sketches full time on the show because in the half season that he's been doing update Colin Jost has just been a guy reading a teleprompter and has never connected with the audience or with the guests at the update desk or am I wrong I mean what do you think about that you mean should they be pairing him up with this new anchor Michael Shea is he going to be able to light a fire underneath Jost and get some charisma boiling and then finally there's the last of the new hires to consider 20-year-old stand-up comic Peter Davidson. The show is, after all, live from New York, so putting a native New Yorker kid from Staten Island into the cast at the last minute in its 40th season seems like a class move. But remember that stand-ups do not always do well when you throw them into an ensemble like SNL. And don't think that this isn't all a huge deal. I mean, I hear from people all the time that SNL isn't as good as it was in the 70s or the 80s or the 90s or whenever it was that they grew up watching the show but the inescapable fact of the matter is that SNL is the number one late night TV franchise scoring higher ratings than Kimmel, Fallon, Letterman or anyone else at night and which kicks the rating asses of all but the highest rated primetime shows out there all of which translates to big box. So be sure to watch along with me on Saturday night, September 27th, when everyone's favorite Guardian of the Galaxy, Chris Pratt, hosts the first show of the 40th anniversary season of SNL. But until then, be sure to hit the subscribe button and all the links I posted down below to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and my new channel, Super Tenders, where you can watch me trying to be funny with my buddy Mark Fleming. And yes, that was a shameless plug, and there will be more of those to follow.